What is up guys? It's Kale back with another video. Sorry about the hair. Just woke up. But today, I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how to start seeds indoors. And some of you guys probably already have started seeds indoors or something like that. Because you live somewhere warmer than me. But yesterday it was snowing and... Like, actually, it was snowing yesterday, no joke, so, yeah, still starting seeds indoors, but what seeds we're going to be starting today are this broccoli, uh, the beefsteak tomato, squash table queen, zucchini, squash zucchini, black beauty, pumpkin, the jack-o'-lantern pump, jack pumpkin, then we got cucumber market more size 76, cucumber white spine, cucumber Chicago pickling, and then I'm also gonna be planting these white pumpkin seeds that I saved from last year from my white pumpkin. So yeah. I'm going to fill these buckets of what they're here and I'll get back to you guys. There you go, and just like that, all of these are filled with the seed packets on top of them. I decided not to go as heavy with the cucumbers because I have three different varieties, and cucumbers produce a lot, and I have a lot of tomatoes, so just four, that's all right. And I got lots of squash plants here, so just three, and I don't really eat squash, I just do it for others because, you know, it's fun to make other people happy. And you got the pumpkin right there. We're gonna be planting orange in two and white in two, so yeah. One thing I forgot to mention is that if the soil is like really like dry and loose and stuff, you might wanna give it a little water ahead of time before putting it in the pots because it could change how much it is in there and like it's planting conditions too so do that if it's a little dry but mine's not dry too dry so I'm just gonna leave it like it is and the first thing I'm gonna plant is the pumpkins cuz I love pumpkins especially when you get a carve them or use hunting. all right so these pumpkins take 10 days to germination and how how you deep plant them um, an inch deep Alright, so I'm going to plant these in there and I'm going to put two seeds in each. Pumpkins are like the most exciting thing to see sprout the ah oh, dang no. No. Crap. I forgot about the mice in here. Crap. Dang it. The mice got them. Hopefully those took one good one, at least. This one's good. Try that guy. And this one is... Nah. I'll try this guy here. Inch deep. Alright, so we just take... Uh, about there. It doesn't have to be exact. You don't need to get a tape measure or ruler or anything like that. Be, be down to near... Be down to right dead on the middle millimeter there you know but I'm just gonna show you guys how I'm gonna be planting these basically like this is an inch deep this is an inch deep these squash are an inch deep that uh, um, tomato is half inch cucumbers half an inch basically that's what I'm gonna be doing broccoli's a quarter inch so yeah I'm going get these all planted here and after you put them down in the dirt always cover them up with a little soil and I'm going to show you what me watering them and then I'm going to put them in my little greenhouse thing there you know so I'll get back to you guys after I'm done planting all these and Just 
like that, we're done. <sighs> Always remember to try and make sure the seeds are in the middle, as close to the middle as possible, or in the middle. You know, that's very important, so it's not like off to one side, and that's bad when you try taking it out. And always remember to give it some water right after you plant it. Just so it helps it out. Just a little water right there just to get it started. You know that. If you don't, then, well, it won't start, obviously. And remember to mark them. That's what I did. But these guys here, I kind of ran out of sticks and I'm lazy. I don't want to go get more sticks. And I'm like, well, I know the cucumber because everything else is marked. And those are cucumber. And, well, yeah, there's three different kinds of cucumbers. So, yeah, but it doesn't really matter to me because I don't eat them. And my, my family doesn't really care what kind of cucumbers they are. And they just eat them. And I'll be able to tell what kind of cucumbers they are when they grow. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm just going... Water these guys down here real good, real quick like that. Just a little water. Then go to your, my greenhouse and put them in there. So, yeah. Let me get back to you when I'm done. Alright, so I got them all watered. And I have a few more quick tips for you guys here. If you get a water bottle and put holes in the top of it, it's easy to drink out of. And you can water plants really easily with it. Because you don't need to take off the cap. You just squirt it out. Basically, uh, like, um... A watering can with the holes in the top this works it works really well I just did that with all these here and another tip when you're planting the seeds plant them down a little bit deeper than you're supposed to because when you water them it the ground will go down the soil will go down and one more tip do not water them as much as you would if you were planting them outdoors because we water them at that much they will just die because they are drowned because they don't use as much water indoors as they do outdoors because it's not as hot and dry and all those other conditions, you know. So please don't make that mistake. I've made that mistake a few times. So, yeah. Trust me, don't don't water them too much. I, as you can see, I just barely watered these guys here. Like, I just barely watered them. But that's all they need. So, yeah. All right, we're going to... Um, I'm not going to show you guys me putting them in there. That's pretty much useless. I'm going to show you my greenhouse. So basically, this is what it's going to look like after 10 days. Or what is it? 13, 12 days, 11 days, or something like that. So basically, what this is what it looks like after. This is what it's going to look like after 12, 13 days, or 11 days, 12 or 11 days here. These are going to, the beef stick tomatoes right here are going to be like this. The tom the pumpkins actually everything's gonna be like this because you don't have any peppers and everything's like 10 or 2 14 days till germination uh and by the time those guys will there germinate my peppers here will be germinated but besides that all my cherries in here are germinated and yeah all my cherries in here are germinated or not, not my cherries all my tomatoes in here are germinated but they're cherry tomatoes but all of them are, well, this guy's here, here is a little behind, but I'll still plant them later, I think, by like a day, a day or two, though, so, yeah. But these guys are doing good. I'm just going to get those guys. I might put some up here on the windowsill, and then the rest are going to go in here. And I might move that lighter ground up there a bit, to get them all over, but, yeah. So yeah, that's basically the video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something new. And it was entertaining. So you're not bored for uh, 10 minutes, you know. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next video.